Hey guys, Joshua Bain Tech, and I want to do a walkthrough video for you for the WAN-AMP Expose module. This is actually a really good Expose framework module for Samsung devices, and especially for users like myself that's on the Verizon Note 3. I have a locked bootloader. I can't load ROMs by a custom recovery, so this is how I like to run my phone. And I'll show you a few of the changes that I've made with my phone already, and then we'll go into the walkthrough. First of all, you're going to notice the circle battery up at the top corner here. And also, my notification panel looks completely different from Samsung's TouchWiz. I have this blue, white, black theme kind of going on, and that kind of stretches right across the whole area. And this whole area looks completely different, and when I select something, you know, it can be blue, or you can change colors, all kinds of stuff like that. So it kind of gets rid of that touch whiz look. And then I have other modifications going on as well. One of the other modifications I have is the power options. I can either take a screenshot, do screen record, power off, airplane mode, or restart. The restart reboot options allows you to reboot, hot boot, recovery, or download. So those are just a few of the changes that I've made on my phone to kind of make it look better in my opinion and also make it function the way I want to as well. What WANM Exposed Framework will do, it kind of lets you make your own custom ROM in a sense. So let's go ahead and walk on through this. When you have Exposed Framework installed, you're going to have to go to the Exposed Installer, go to your modules and make sure that it's checked off here. And once you have it checked on, you'll have to reboot your device. Once you're all rebooted, just go on back to WANM and you can get going with all your modifications. So let's go here, hit the information button, kind of show you what's going on. Thanks to RO89 and Trung Stumenti for their work on Exposed. Uh, pardon me if I butchered that name, but you got a bunch of other different things here as well. You can hit no thanks, donate, or rate the app. I encourage you to do something to help these guys out. Here on the right hand side, you do have your recommended settings, save a backup or restore a backup, really cool stuff. So if you've done a lot of work, a lot of modifications, you're gonna to wanna to save it. So hit your save backup, we'll just do one backup, save backup, and it saves. So that way, in case you have to restore your phone or get another phone or something like that, you'll have that file and you can restore all your settings, so really cool stuff. You got recommended settings that you can apply. So start here at the top, we're going to work our way all the way down. There's a lot to go on, so just sit back, sit tight, grab some popcorn, get a Coke or pop, and enjoy the show. So here's our notification panel options here, expand all notifications. Basically, usually on the drop down here, you'll get the first notification that'll have all the information, like a little short description, and then the rest of them will be condensed, but you can actually have them expanded. Typeface family. This is really cool. I like the condensed one because it kind of gives the Kit Kat feel. Typeface style, you got italic, normal, and bold. Clock size, clock position, AM, PM style. This is where you can make it small, large, or even hide it. I choose to hide it, and you can see how my clock is right there. You can show status bar date if you would like. And with these kind of changes, if you make a change, you're gonna have to reboot the device. So what I normally like to do is I'll make a few changes, then reboot it, and then if I want some more done, I'll just go in and make those modifications. You have battery options here, hide battery icon, enable circle battery. I like the circle battery a whole lot more than what the stock is. I like to be able to see the percentage up at the top. You have a header, two line date, display the full day and year in the panel header. Signal bars number, if you like to have that kind of information. Persistent data icon, you can hide the Wi-Fi in and out, which I like those kind of options as well. Status icons, hide the smart stay icon, especially Samsung devices. You have a lot of these different options here. When you enable some of these settings, you're gonna have an icon always sitting up at the top. I like the cleaner look, so I like to actually hide this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna check those off. I'm gonna hide the NFC. When I have it turned on, you know, I'm gonna be able to see that it's turned on within the notification panel, so. There's the way I like it. Here's quick setting tiles. You can actually choose the number of tiles that you like. You can go from four all the way to eight. I like five as mine. You can hide the indicator bars, hide text labels, remove the gaps between the tiles. Basically, the, there's a small gap between each one of them. You can't really see it too much, just the way you have the theme on mine, but you can remove those gaps if you like. Collapse panel after toggle. Disable airplane toggle pop-up. Disable Bluetooth, 
pop up. You also have some notifications here, hide Wi-Fi notification, I like that. Hide input method switcher. That's if you want to change your keyboard. Up here at the top when you change or want to do a different keyboard, you have that option where you can hide it if you want to, hide blocking mode. You also have some carrier options here. You can hide the carrier label. You can customize it. I have mine as banetech.com. Carrier label size, you could change it from small, medium, and large. Might as well change mine to large. So there's your notification panel. Let's go on down to lock screen. Lock screen, it's gonna have a different effect that you can do. You can do CRT or fade. I'm gonna do CRT. Hide carrier label. Go ahead and hide that, mine as well. Or you can hide carrier label, or again, you can change it here. So I'll put my normal Bain Tech one here. Just hit okay when you're done. You can hide emergency call button, enable lock screen rotation, hidden flashlight settings, option to enable flashlight with volume up long press while the screen is off. So you can do that here. You can change the minutes and you just toggle on and off if you want it on or off. You have lock screen shortcuts, customized lock screen shortcuts, swipe lock must be enabled. All right, for your power, you can hide the full battery notification. I kind of like that. Hide wireless charging dialog, turn on screen when unplugged, and also enable quick pin unlock. Moving on to the sound options, disable loud volume warning. I really like the disable loud volume warning to be able to turn that off because if you have headphones on and you're trying to turn up the volume, you'll get that loud annoying beep like warning, you're, you know, this is not healthy kind of thing. But at times I have it plugged up to my car, not just headphones. I really like that option. You can skip tracks with your volume keys. I don't particularly like that option, but it's a good one for people that do like it. Auto expand volume panel, hide headset app notification. You can disable the camera shutter. I like that option a lot. Disable boot sound. I do like that a lot. I just like a quiet device. I don't like all these like unnecessary notifications sounds. Disable volume control sound and disable low battery sound. Let's hit up the system. The power menu here, is, this first option gives you the enable four-way reboot menu. And this is when you hold down your power button. You have the different options here. Reboot confirmation, I don't like that. When I hit reboot, I know I'm rebooting. You get the screenshot and record. You get the system, disable scrolling cache, disable tether provisioning, Wi-Fi app, client's number. NFC behavior, this is when it's unlocked, screen and unlocked, and also when the screen is off. I'm going to choose the both, enable keyboard symbols, enable all rotation angles. You have a browser option here as well. You can add exit button to the browser menu, set default browser menu, and also you have some camera and gallery options. Enable rotation through button, the gallery will rotate pictures automatically. That's actually a really nice option. Enable camera during a phone call, I like that. Just in case I need to take a picture while I'm on a phone call. Disable temperature checks, disable low battery warning, critical battery level, I have that set at 5%. You can set it to all the way to 100 if you want to, but I'm gonna do five. Select multi-window apps, and this is where you can basically add any kind of app that you have within your phone. You got wallpaper scrolling, launch your infinite scroll, hide dock labels, disable home wake button, basically, if you don't like your home button to wake up your device, you can choose to turn that off. Home button long press, home button long behavior, and this is where you can kind of do some different stuff rather than just a recent app. So you can do launch Google Now, you can do nothing or launch a custom application. You got long back kills the app, so you just long press the back button and it kills everything. Long back app whitelist, and if that's stuff that you don't want killed. Let's go to the phone, you got enable call button. I like to actually have the call record button instead. So I'll leave that checked off. And that's so if you wanna record phone calls. So you can actually have both. If you check this on, you can check this one on if you want to both have the add call button and also the call recording menu. Disable increased call ringer. I actually kinda of like it because I don't like it to blast all at the same time. Disable increasing call ringer and that's actually a nice option if you just want full blast ringtone to come through when you get a phone call. You can save call logs view, disable call number formatting, enable call button and call logs. Enable unlimited contacts to join, so that's actually pretty cool. You can have quite a few people in one phone call conversation. Use separate address field, disable account icons. You can go here to messaging, which has some pretty cool practical options here as well. 
raise the SMS recipient limit. Usually it's just 10 of people that you can add, but you can actually make it bigger. And you can do the same for MMS messages. You can disable SMS to MMS threshold. Current conversation threshold is four. And that's just the default. Force MMS connect. Enable automatic input mode. Enable SMS sent time details. Show screen on settings. Theme, this is where you can really get creative. This is where you can make everything look different than what the normal phone looks like. This is where I changed a lot of stuff, especially notification panel. Circle battery color, I like the white and black and kind of gray look, so that's how I have everything set. Or you can do different colors. So when you want to change something, make sure that you toggle this on and then hit apply at the bottom. And that's how you're going to change something. Circle text color. You can just change just about everything you want here from your stock battery text color, clock color, signal icon colors, status bar icons, clock and date color. You got your header here, header button color, button divider color. Use animated brightness icon. The way I like this, my brightness is just to have a full slider here. If you check this on, you're going to get basically when you hit your auto, it just kind of goes down to the middle and it shows minus or plus five, I believe, but I like this setting the best. And that's where the auto brightness detail is, the enable five plus or negative five slider for auto brightness. I have that turned off. Header background color. This is where I made a lot of the changes. You can see the, the black background, panel background. You can do system holo dark background if you want. You can also do the lights, notification, background color. Again, I have this as black and you can tell because here on the right hand side, it'll change to the black. That's how you change that. So title bar, text color, you can just read on down here, just so many different options. You could change the color to each of these. Quick settings, same deal. You just go in here and change all the colors that you want. And that's how that works. And then at the bottom, you have an email to where you can make it a white background instead of a black or dark background. We got some security hacks that you can do, bypass exchange security. And that's basically, it helps you kind of add an email account with all that extra security. Just a bit, sometimes, I don't know, some of the servers kind of mess you up at times. I know my school email for a while, it would just not log in correctly. So it was kind of a pain in the butt and it's because of the security settings. So that's a cool option to have. System fake. System status, you can set it to a custom. You can disable Knox notifications, disable SE Android, and that's a beta level, so just know that it's in beta mode. And also down here at the bottom, video hangouts through cellular, not just Wi-Fi. And last but not least, we have our advanced tab, and you have a bunch of features here. You can keep you can keep your CSC features. You got touch whiz options here, you got enable boost mode if you want force English language and remove this app ads. And that is a complete walkthrough of the WANAM exposed framework module. This is my go-to exposed framework module for my Note 3 because it really does cater to Samsung devices and it's just gonna help you make your phone look that much better if, especially in your the same boat as I am, being with a Verizon Note 3 that I have a locked bootloader, I can't load a custom ROM through custom recovery, I can do SafeStrap, but SafeStrap isn't my favorite. It's a great app, a great option, but it's just not for me. So I use stock, rooted, exposed framework, and WANAM is the way to go if you have a Samsung device especially. Thanks guys for watching. I hope that you found that this video was helpful to you. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.